What's it feeling like for us when uh, Jeremy Pruitt calls you out on third and one to run the football? Well, it felt good. You know, it's an um, opportunity for me to help the team, and then I just took the opportunity and then did what I could. Have you been missing playing running back a little bit? Uh, sometimes a little bit, but I'm really just focused on just playing um, whatever they put me right now, just playing outside linebacker and just learning and getting better with that with uh, Coach Rump and um, DT, Daryl. Uh, so I'm just just going going along and then learning as much as I can and getting better. And so that's all I do. When you, when you go back to the sideline, were you saying, hey, I got five yards, can, can I get some more carries? Oh, no, I didn't say that. Nah, I was just I was just worrying. I was like, well, we got the first down. Let's see if we can go down and get a touchdown, you know, so. Can you take us through the process of deciding between running back and linebacker at Tennessee? Um, well, me, when I, I played a lot of running back in high school. Um, so when I, I thought about it and I was saying that uh, for me, uh, defense, I think that would be better for me just for my body and me being able to uh, play for a longer time and, make, and get the best out of football as I could. And then when I got here, and I knew that um, Coach, as soon as Coach Pruitt came up here, the next day I was up here to visit with him because I knew him at Alabama. But um, I saw all the players that he put in the league, you know, and Coach Rump as well, you know, um, coaching um, at Florida. And so I just did my research on the guys, and then my cousin played at Florida, Marlon Dunlap. So he would tell me about Coach Rump and all that. So I knew I had a good defensive staff that would come in to help me become the best defensive player I, that I can be, you know. So in high school, I played defense, and I played it. But I never had, like, a, a, a coach to coach you up on all the details and stuff like that. So when I moved to defense, it was kind of like a learning curve and everything like that. But I feel like I caught on to it, and I'm just trying to get better and better at, in each part of um, playing defense, my pass rush, and whatever it is I can just improve on. So, How difficult has that learning curve been? Is there something that you find you're kind of picking up easier than other things? Um, at first, when I started doing it, I started off by playing inside linebacker, and then I, I moved over to the outside linebacker room. And um, for the most part, I feel like inside linebacker helped me a lot with uh, Batuli. And um, all my boys helping me uh, in inside linebacker room. So when I got to outside, I already knew what my was and stuff like that. And then I got in there with uh, DT um, and Coach Rump, and they just helped me in on all the other stuff. I'm still learning how to pass rush. You know, um, I feel like I get close every week of getting one. I'm going to get one sooner or later. But it's just coming together and you know, just working with them and them um, just allowing me to get better and better each and every day with my pass rush and just becoming a better defensive player overall. What's the camaraderie like with you and Roman? Because he's learning that position too. Roman is kind of like my um, my best friend, honestly, um, because uh, Roman is just like a, a missile. You see him play in practice; he just he just moving. Um, so both of us are kind of learning everything, and then sometimes some things he pick up better than me, and sometimes I pick up something better than him. You know, so we just kind of be on opposite sides, just teaching each other and trying to get each other better outside of practice like hey what you got on this what you got on that and just trying to get each other going because I feel like once we get it then it's, it's just the sky the limit for both of us so you're a true freshman can you take us through how much the speed of an SEC team kind of hits you when you see it for the first time well for me um the Georgia State game I actually I ain't gonna lie to y'all I'm gonna be honest with y'all so I came out in the warm-ups and um I'm not a dude all that yelling coach Rump was doing like a lot of yelling. I like to stay calm and poised, you know. And um, the first the first game, I was kind of like a little jittery, you know, until I had my first hit. But the speed is not that bad because we practice hard. And practice is so much harder than the games. I'm not going to lie to you. So Coach Pruitt will work us doing practice. So practice is a lot harder than the game. So when we get out there on game day, it's a lot easier for us. So the speed is not too bad. But from SEC standpoint and um, other teams we play, it's a little different. How would you describe, as a, as a true freshman and a newcomer, the first four weeks of this season? Obviously, that one and three start, but are you still having fun you know, playing football? Yeah, I'm still having fun. Uh, obviously, I'm a little disappointed from the, the losses that we took, but for the most part, for me, I'm, I'm um, here just to get better and um, get all our team on the same page and just keeping the family aspect about everything. And I'm just trying to get better each and every day, you know, um, and I'm learning a lot, so I'm happy that because I feel like that every time I go out there and put my cleats on, I get better in something every day, so I'm just excited to keep going. Coming from high school, are you a guy that is not used to, to losing? Like no, that's the complete opposite. So when I was in high school, my freshman and my sophomore year, we lost everything. So we just lost all the time. My, my, first, my first year playing high school football, we lost every game except one. And my, uh, my head coach is Sam Ryan in high school. And uh, so I'm used to having adversity. So this right now really not bothering me, you know, because I'm, I'm used to being able to build something upon a rock. That's what my coach is saying, just building something upon a rock and just getting everybody to buy in. So it's not too much for me because I'm used to 
uh, starting as a, building something and then it becoming big because my junior year I won the whole thing. <coughs> I won a state championship as a junior. So, is that something like you and a lot of the other freshmen talked about? Because I'm, I'm sure one of the reasons you and a lot of guys came here was you knew you were going to get an opportunity to play early. Like, yeah, so, so we talked talk about, about that. Yeah, we talked about building it. Yeah. And then um, for any other like recruit that's out there and thinking about, oh, Tennessee, I'm taking like take a step back, I would say don't because um, you come here and you get ready to play with us. You know, um, when we build something, um, it, it takes time to build stuff, you know. The, the world wasn't built in one day either. So I feel like that uh, everything takes time, and as long as you keep on working with a good mindset and a good attitude, then I think success will come along the so way. Is that an attitude, I mean, you sound confident that you, you feel that attitude in the locker room. Yeah, I feel it. I just feel like that it's certain it's certain guys that we can get this kind of tag on because you got to understand most of the people that's here was the best person on their team and everybody came from different backgrounds of winning and losing. Some people win all the time and not used to losing. So you got to say, hey, man, this, this is not nothing, man. Just come on. Just keep rolling. We, we can change it. It's not done yet. The season is far from over. We got so many more games to play. So it's just decided to just get back out there and, and get back to work, you know, and um, don't be discouraged by anything. And just keep going. How Talk did you uh, calm yourself down after that season up? You said Rump was doing his thing, and you like to oh. calm. How did you get yourself calmed down? I, I don't tell him this, but um, <laughs> I, I just kind of ignore him. I just try to <laughs> try to ignore him because he do all the yelling. So I just take his coaching points, but I ignore all his yelling because for me they kind of get me overwhelmed a little bit. And I don't really. I like to stay focused and I'm, I'm calm. And I remember one day Coach Pruitt came up to me. He was like, "Hey, Q, why you're not high? Why you're not yelling?" And I was like, Coach, that ain't me. You know, I just like to stay calm and just focus on the task that I got in hand, you know, because if I, if I get too up, then I feel like that I, I forget something. So I just try and stay in between and just um, focus on the, the task I got in my assignment. So when, so. You, get, so when you get your first sack, it's going to be a low-key celebration? It's going to be a celebration. Uh, hopefully, Coach Pruitt don't get mad at me, but I already got it planned. I'll be practicing in the hotel room with DT, <laughs> and they laugh at me because I can't dance. I'm a stiff guy. But I've been working on my moves, so... It's going to be something special. What is the move? Like, can we not know yet? It's got to be a surprise. It's got to be a surprise. <laughs> Two more. Finale. Uh, who's kind of the, the mentor on this team to you? Is there anyone who's, like, kind of taking yeah. you under their wing? Daryl Taylor. Daryl Taylor's, like, my big brother. You know, and Coach Rump, uh, be like, oh, get your little brother, get your little brother all the time. So I'm always following behind him. And uh, I wish I had more time with him, honestly, because um, when I came in outside linebacker room, um, he taught me so much, and Coach Rump taught me so much, and then uh, my boy DeAndre and KB, they all took me under their wing and just trying to teach me how to uh, do like the little things because I never even got in three-point stands like that, you know. So my three-point stands is kind of ugly at first, and they just keep on staying with me and not um, giving up on me and just teach me as much as I can to be better. So, but Darryl Taylor been a big influence in my um, in my football career so far, and um, he just teach me, and um, I appreciate it for him. Do you do any more coaching questions? Oh, uh, about Coach Pruitt? Yeah, right. um, it's a lot, man. The dude just... <laughs> is, that, is that your best question question? Is that my best one? Uh, one more. I don't know. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. <laughs>